prior to that, Philippines have thrashed them. Five nils and seven nils prior. And they do get us off here. The driving force of this side. Maranion does well to get that down the line. Schrock will break, put a cross in. Waiting for the shot from Reichelt. Here's Stefan Schrock. I haven't said his name too much so far. A bit of a mistake there from Ocello. Oh, and he's just wide again. Had a few chances. Said that they don't lie down. I think he's right, but they can't be giving the ball away like that. It's Girado. Stoy ball! Oh, that was the opening goal. Got a good hand to that, the goalkeeper, Adarito. Stoibel gets the opening goal. It was all from a poor pass earlier, losing possession. I think Adarito will be disappointed with that. We'll have another look from this angle. Yeah, it's got to have stronger hands, you feel. Power on that shot, but he probably should have saved it. Adarito can only palm it into the back of his own net. We'll focus on what's to come. We still have Myanmar and Thailand. Oh, that's better. This is where this is how they scored against uh, Singapore. Looked like that. It's come off Filomeno, but it's straight into the arms of his goalkeeper, Adarito. Hard wide to Reichelt. Header at the near post, and keeper couldn't quite hold on to it. Girado gets it back to Schrock. Nicely done by Schrock. They're all lining up here, and Azari! It's slipped in. Oh, that's disappointing as far as Adorito's concerned, but the Philippines now are two to the good. And it's the second goal of the tournament. I mean, Nazari, good work here from Schrock. But again, I think they'll be disappointed with this. The goalkeeper, Adorito, has to be able to stop that. Yeah, players in front of him, I'm sure he'll be saying that. Out across to Schrock. They get bodies back to Moleste in time. Schrock, the ball in, oh dear! It's the third goal, Girado, but uh, another calamity from Aderito. Well, that is, I'm afraid, really poor goalkeeping from Arenito. But more importantly for the Philippines, they have got their third goal. I wonder if it just took a bit of a touch from Filomeno. Might see it from this angle. Yeah, potentially did, didn't it? So that would be a mitigating reason for Arenito. Have another look. Yeah, he did get a touch on. We have to be fair to Adarito. Towards the end of October, where they drew with Singapore, and that was only because of a very, very late Singapore equaliser. And they were down to 10 men for a whole half. A chance here! And it's put away with a plum by Patrick Reichelt. A loose ball, and this is turning into a massive route now. Look at that. Absolutely freedom of the box there, effectively for Reichelt. It's good work from Stoibel, wasn't it? Nice perseverance from him. Good touch on there. Reichelt with a lovely finish. 
free header. And a first goal on his debut for Philippines for Jesper Nihol. They've got their fifth in the AFS Suzuki Cup 2020, eclipsing the Malaysians' 4-0 win over Laos a couple days ago. And the Philippines rampant at the moment, but there's absolutely no marking on Jesper Nihol. But for a team that's so young, well, he only made one change in the previous game. He's made eight today, gone from one extreme to the other. So come back to haunt him. A chance here for six. And he gets his first goal. Bien for Maragnon. Well, they're all scoring their first goals, aren't they? He said it was an emotional, special moment on Twitter after that first game against Singapore. Adarito palms it into the path of Maragnon. Plus, custodian today, it's not been his day, has it? And he's not going to miss from there. The man has got a record number of goals in the AFC Cup for United City. 35 goals, he's not going to miss that one. And Gama is also off. He is replaced by Mourinho, who has had some good moments. This is a great shop window, of course, if not for Europe, but then certainly for Southeast Asian leagues. And the header from Girado straight at Junildo. Well, they've had a number of uh, free headers. Jesper Niholm looking for his second of the game. Sense, but at least they are. Showing a bit more intent here. Gali, it's a first shot on target. <laughs> it does create headlines one way or the other. Of Paolo Gali. Straight forward for Genildo. They haven't really been that much of a goal threat in the second half. And Timo Leste side you can see what. Fabi McGraw is trying to build with this sits team. A lot of work to do. Galantes now straightforward finish for Ingreso. Who adds his name to the score sheet. And goal number seven. Back by Galantes and straight forward for Ingreso. Took that first time. Over the ball. Abito! Abito! No free! No free! You can hear it's just going mental at some of the players there. Looks like it's Zenivio forward. Probably come on for Elias after that. Rather than a selfish play from him earlier. Here's Ott. Oh, and the top of the box, Kekkonen. Not even testing the keeper from there. That's disappointing, I think, from him. Here's Ott. Let's a run across him, Ott. He's through here, Ott. Oh, and that's just wide. And Zanivio. He replaces him. He's got a middle name of Morientes. Of course, Fernando Morientes, one of the great strikers. Much improved second half, though. <laughs> Philippines clearly didn't need to do too much more. It's a good ball in now. Can they get a goal back in? Mugilio! Not that far away. Could he have squared the ball? It's a lovely ball over the top, bearing down on goal. Had to go across the keeper, did that right. It's a ball from Gumario, wasn't it? And that will be the a nice way, I suppose, in some ways, to end it 
for Timor Leste, who were hammered in this game. A number of individual errors.